What's going on, everybody? It's Dominic with Power Slap News, and joining me here in Vegas is Darius the Destroyer. Let's Darius, see. how's it going, man? Darius. Darius. Oh my goodness, I'm <laughs> no, so it's sorry. All right. You're okay. I botched it. Right. No, but I just I want to let you know before you kept calling me that the whole time. I would have called you that the whole see, time, right. bro. I would have done it's it the right. whole time. Did I? Well, I've been doing that this whole trip. I've. I swear, I've heard you call me Darius. Did I? I could have sworn. Uh, maybe I've been bouncing back and maybe. forth. Maybe. I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. No worries. Get back into it. You just made weight. How you feeling, man? Great, man. Great. I feel good. You know, just had a had a big meal, so uh, you know, ready to knock some heads off tomorrow. What's your go to? I made weight. What's the first thing you want to eat after? Shit, I really want a beer and pizza, but it's like you know, there was a, this Korean barbecue place down the way, and we, you know, had to go try that out. I have it here, and it was it good? Yeah, it was fire. Okay, there it was you go. absolutely fire. Okay, coming up tomorrow, man. Mm -hmm. You got a pretty big fight. Oh yeah. You got a ton of slap experience. Yeah. So your opponent, you know, it's there, but not mm. as much as you. Right. What are you taking from your experience that's going to elevate you beyond him? You know, uh, I don't think he's really been hit like me, the way I'm going to hit him. And, like, with Frank, Frank the Tank, you know, he hit him, you know, he had a good few clean shots, but Frank, he doesn't have the power that I have. I know that for a fact. And, you know, he has a lot of street beefs experience, a lot of MMA stuff yep. going on, but uh, you know, not ta nothing to take away from this guy. You know, he's ready to play and I'm ready to, you know, clown. I'm ready to fucking, ready to fucking go, man. Uh, you look excited, man. You, oh, look, yeah. you look ready for it. I'm super excited about this one. Have you been uh, specifically training slap? I know you've been a slap fighter, but mm -hmm. like, has anything pivoted since power slap? Uh, no, I've always been, you know, kind of in the MMA training and jujitsu and, you know, also on the side training, you know, my slap because my MMA kind of translates and it goes well with all the slapping stuff, all the explosive training and the weightlifting and, you know, jujitsu works a lot of core. And so since, since I know you've been slap fight, you've been mm -hmm. slap fighting, you got a lot of slap fight experience since power slap, anything in your training has, has changed. Have you pivoted anything specifically for power slap? Nah, man, I've really just been, you know, still MMA training, still doing jujitsu, you know, moving a bunch of bodies left to right. And, you know, I think that's a lot of core strength and, you know, it, it really, sh and, you know, doing, doing some like underwater stuff and doing some resistance band stuff. But, you know, other than that, you know, just keeping on the training regimen. No discus? Definitely no discus. Definitely no, no discus. No That's discus. Not for, you. not for me. Nah. I tried throwing in high school. Discus was never my event. No, eh? Never. I don't know why. If you win this one, do you think that puts you right back in line for a title shot? I mean, being 18 and 1, I don't see why not. You know, um, the Wolverine's trying to go down and weight from, you know, uh, the word that's been buzzing around yeah. so um whatever happens to the title whatever happens with that fight i hope to hope to get the winner and if it does so happen to be wolverine then um who knows what he goes and maybe tries to become double champ maybe maybe not who see you know we'll just see what happens super heavyweight have you seen the catchers for it i have i have seen the catchers they are they are some big big dudes and i think you know luckily if one of them cuts out or one of them you know so light shut off that they'll they'll catch them but you know we'll just uh you know slap for cash what are you weighing for 461 or something like that yeah, yeah that's a that's a big big boy so um i know i know those guys can you know probably bench and squat double his weight so i yeah. think they'll be able to get it done i think i was talking to uh fred was talking to earlier and they're telling me the dude is in the thousand pound club like right. he lifts like squats a thousand or something yeah. like dead lifts a th that's that's insane yeah man. that is insane those I can are never big imagine. boys mm -hmm. What if they enter Power Slap? Do you ever see now that we're kind of making this transition, we expose Power Slap to that level of fans? Do you think any strong men enter Power Slap in the future? I think most strong men would <laughs> definitely be a super heavyweight. You know, Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, those guys are just, you know, gigantic men. And we seen, you know, Brian Shaw over at the PI hitting the power cue and you know, he's lacking a little bit of mobility, he's lacking a little bit of speed, but you can definitely tell the power is there. So, you know, we're definitely, it'd be really interesting to see some of these bigger guys and some of these strongmen compete with these guys. Well, speaking of speed, man, I saw you last night. You were, like, kind of sparring with these guys, and you were looking quick. Yeah, man, I keep, you know, my uh, my training partner and best friend, you know, Raven, he's a black belt in Taekwondo, and, you know, he always keeps me up to date on any kind of, you know, anything I can do to get my hands as fast as I can, you know, do a lot of underwater stuff, mm. like, you know, a lot of resistance stuff to, you know, keep everything as sharp as I can. 
you know, whether it comes to slap, whether it comes to MMA, jiu-jitsu, you know, always got to be top of your game. I know you come from a big uh, slap fight champion background, mm -hmm. close with JT. Mm -hmm. You doing any car seat jiu-jitsu in your future? Man, I would, uh, I would absolutely love to do some car jiu-jitsu. Um, I definitely, I definitely see it in my future. I definitely have a, have a couple opponents picked out. Maybe, Ooh. maybe uh, a Wesley Drain. Mm. Maybe a, uh, maybe a Vernon Cathy. Ooh. Maybe that's Cat. Yeah, it's Vernon Cathy. It's not <laughs> Kathy. You got pissed off about Kathy. It's Cathy. <laughs> Vern Cathy. Maybe Vern, maybe uh, maybe a slap for cash. Mm. Maybe uh, maybe a JT Tilly himself. Ooh, or Ooh. maybe maybe even Frank the Tank. Who knows, buddy? All I'm down them. for all those names. Even Rob, Rob Trujillo can get it too. <laughs> I'm calling him out. I actually want him. I want him specifically, bro. <laughs> number one. Yes, number one. Him first. You're gonna lock him in with the emergency brake. Yep, emergency brake and the seatbelt, both at the same time. <laughs> Never gonna know what hit him. Car seat jujitsu or phone box box, phone booth boxing. If you had to do which one, uh, I definitely think I would perform well in both of them. But I feel like just being in such a tight space, I need some, uh, I need, I need some room to work my body, mm -hmm. man. So uh, I think, I think car jitsu is really, really my place to to shine in jitsu world. That would be really fun, man. I think it would be super cool to see you kind of expand into more sports, into more things, right? You got a big following. A lot of people like you. Every time people see you, always excited to see you, Definitely. man. You're the destroyer. I don't want to take up much more of your evening. <laughs> Before I let you go, where can the people find you? Find me at Instagram, Facebook, Darius the Destroyer. Don't have a TikTok yet, but, you know, maybe I'll do something one day. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'll get something up. Maybe you can convince me. Hey, hit him up. Tell him to get that TikTok going. <laughs> if you're not following, make sure you're following him. And stay tuned tomorrow live on Rumble to see this guy slap. Wow. Thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate your <laughs> Thank time. Thank you, man.